presenting a, a basis for a public mythology. It's a, it's a, it's a toxification and a, a pollution of the psychological environment, the mental environment. So we can't have the discussions we need to have in our society on, on the really major issues, such as how are we going to have, you know, how are we going to do, how are we going to do energy? I mean, global warming, I'm sure, is is a uh, you know there's good cause to fear that and and to rectify that but when i compare what's going on in fukushima when i compare the dangers of these nuclear plants in california which are also on you know fault lines are on earthquake zone on, on earthquake fault lines which can expect tsunamis just like fukushima could to follow the earthquakes when i think of the kind of imminent dangers that that represents uh, I think, well, that's got to be where our political priority is. Yes, we need to do things about uh, uh, global warming. And, uh, and uh, frankly, when I look at this, I, I, I wonder, you know, was the nuclear industry involved in building up the public perceptions around global warming to steer attention away from the nuclear industry? I mean, we've, we've you know, we were given the impression that nuclear energy is kind of green. Uh, and now we have Fukushima turning into a kind of a slow nuclear bomb. And uh, uh, so suddenly, you know, that symbolism is rightfully blown away, but, but we're not getting the information. It's not being reported properly. We're not getting, you know, the President of the United States, Barack Obama, who is, uh, you know, he's funded by, he's a lobbyist for the nuclear energy industry. Uh, it's big among his, you know, campaign um, sponsors. Uh, so, how, you know, how, how are we going to get uh, the information we need so we can have a proper public debate? Now, I mean, isn't this the system? I mean, private ownership of uh, the nuclear industry uh, and capitalism isn't this? It's a business of making profit. I mean, isn't that what it's all about? Well, of course, GE's spokesperson, Ronald Reagan, he eventually became uh, governor of California and president of the United States. And, you know, he, he uh, advanced a theory of deregulation, that governments should get smaller, that they should get out of the way of business, that business sh should have more latitude, and if business got bigger, then government would get smaller. This uh, deregulation and privatization, we see where it led with the financial debacle, which uh, is all about deregulation. Deregulation was, in fact, used by these executive branches and their creative counting departments to essentially steal the capital from even the shareholders, uh, the pension holders. Uh, so deregulation became a kind of uh, basis for kleptocracy. We look at the Gulf of Mexico and the BP spill and we see, well, where was the Army Corps of Engineers? I mean, it, it was left to the companies, the deregulated companies. Now we see in Japan this TEPCO company has no liability. They have limited liability. In fact, the whole nuclear energy industry is based on the idea that you can't get insurance for these. No, no insurance company would sell policies. So so the taxpayer is uh, left, uh, you know, we, we take the danger of the Radio radioactivity and we also take the financial liability. Um, and so this uh, privatization and deregulation, I mean when even nuclear plants are treated as if they're uh, uh, private for-profit operations, well they, they couldn't be for-profit really if the true costs were there, if they actually had to buy insurance, uh, what would the insurance rates be for these plants? So, so uh, it, it's, it's what it, what is being called capitalism has become this kind of kleptocracy where uh, a very small entitled minority use their wealth and the access to political influence which it purchases to t to thieve not only wealth away from the public but political influence and power that should be ours if, if, if we had a, uh, a viable political culture, a political system, which we obviously don't. I mean, the two-party system has been demonstrated as bankrupt. Uh, uh, 
you know, there, what could have been a more dramatic shift, one would think, from Bush to Obama, and yet we see Obama carrying on in the military realm, in the financial realm, even increasing uh, the, the severity and the, the radicalness, the right-wing radicalness of, 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 of of Bush policies, continuing the, the the global war on terror and all the fraud and and violations of law, domestic law, international law that 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 it involves. So, so uh, people have to find a way to somehow take back the power, and it's not going to be uh, a simple matter of putting a, an X here or there on the ballot box. You know, people have to get much more involved uh, in the responsibilities that, of of citizenship, and. And organizing, and 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 this Fukushima matter, um, it, it's such a demonstration that you know the, the people who are supposed to be looking after us are not, and, and in fact are 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 working contrary to the public interest, and have to be held accountable. Fukushima, you know, to to think that down the road there'll be a few individuals from TEPCO who might face criminal charges. No, we need to see the accountability for what. Has, is taking place there and the millions of cancers and the deformities to come and all the criminal negligence involved in allowing such a juxtaposition of, of conditions to, to ferment in the way that we see this you know, biggest industrial disaster in history. There's no, no precedent for this. It's way beyond Cher Chernobyl. Uh, I, I could see that in, in, in early days and, and, and wrote it down. Uh, um, you know, we, we, we have no way to really know how severe this is going to be, but it, it, it's, 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 uh, put us, it's thrown us over the abyss in a way. And if we can't mobilize to say no more nukes, this industry is not viable. It doesn't make sense. This is a crazy way to to boil water, which is essentially all that's happening. Uh, if 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 we can't uh, get a, a grasp here, we're going to just see more and more Fukushima's. It's it's inevitable, and and one of the first places, you know, the most imperiled and endangered places is right here in California.